In this video about the Iowa assessments, we will focus on the assessments to administer to obtain total scores, the associated grade level and assessment level and availability of norms, the administration time frame, and the subtests available at each grade level. Here are the four questions that will be addressed in this video. This chart shows which assessments are needed for administration in order to obtain the needed or desired total scores for complete or composite. Notice that at all levels, students must take both the math and computation assessments to achieve a math total score. This chart shows the assessments to administer to obtain the desired total scores on the survey battery. The Iowa assessments include test levels that are academically and developmentally appropriate for students from kindergarten through grade 12. They can be administered throughout the school year, but they typically serve as a diagnostic or pre-assessment at the beginning of the school year to determine where instruction might begin in the classroom as the year begins. Whether it be individually with a student or where a group or an entire class needs direct instruction. Many schools and districts also administer the Iowa assessments near the end of the school year as a summative assessment to identify the student learning that took place throughout the year on the standards in each tested area. They can play an integral part of the school or district's balanced assessment plan, and it fits well with other assessments, including COGAT, AZCBM, Iowa Flex, Iowa Algebra Aptitude Test, and GMRT. The test levels correspond approximately to the average age of students in the tested grade. For example, the Level 6 assessment is most appropriate for students from the spring of kindergarten to the end of first grade. Level 9 is most often administered in grade 3, where most students are about 9 years old. Notice on the chart that fall norms are not available for kindergarten and in mid-year of kindergarten. Level 6 norms are not available. Students can be tested on a higher or lower level if needed, so off-level testing is an option. Notice here the time frame in which each battery is administered per level. This chart shows the skill tests in each assessment configuration by level. This chart shows the additional subset of tests administered at the various grade levels by grade level. This is for grades kindergarten through fifth grade. And this is the chart for grades 6 through 12. We have scope and sequence documents available for the IO assessments, complete, core, and survey batteries, forms E, F, and G for all levels. These documents state the number of items for each domain, the skills tested, and the approximate amount of time for testing. The levels 5 through 8 assessments are untimed, while levels 9 through 17, 18 have associated time limits with each subtest. To learn more about the IO assessments, check out our additional videos on the benefits and purposes for testing, the forms and batteries, online and paper pencil administration processes, how to access reports, and the training and resources available. Thank you for your interest in learning about the Iowa assessments. Have a fantastic day.